Hey, this is gonna be a weird iPhone vlog because I'm just showing you some exercises that I do in my in-home gym along with some accessories that I find um, have added a lot of value to my home gym and I'm going to link them because I'm asked about them, not because I get anything out of linking these things. By the way, I wanna make that very clear. I'm not sponsored by any of these products. This is just random stuff that I've gotten on Amazon that I've added to my home gym that I get questioned on or questions about. Weird verbiage, is it verbiage or verbiage, who cares? So we're gonna start here with these bands, but we will eventually talk about the rest of these items. Won't we, Nala? I'm gonna get started with the resistance loops and that's why I'm in this compromising position. The purple one, uh, it's less helpful. The green one is more helpful. So the thicker, the more helpful. Now I will say that some of my clients, I have them use both at the same time because they are not strong enough to lift their entire bodies up with one or the other. For myself, I try to do some without and then some with the purple. So when I step into it, I do it from the ground and I just put my foot in like this and then pull it down and then if you do wide grip, it's a little harder. Wide grip pull-ups, or if you have less strength, I suggest the close grip. These ones I can do without a band. Or you can use the green one, which makes it super easy if you already can do pull-ups a little bit. And you can also, sorry if I sound out of breath, it's because I'm talking. Talking makes me feel out of breath. You put both feet in. This is awkward. You both, 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 what am I saying? You can put both feet in. And this one is a little too easy for me. I could do this all day. I feel like, woo, woo, because like there's that much help. But like I said, for some of my clients, they need both of them. I don't even know where to look when I'm doing it on my iPhone. Dude, they need um, both of them sometimes. So if you feel like you have little to no arm strength, then maybe consider purple and green or the black. I believe the black is even thicker, but it does tell you the resistance levels. I get them on Amazon, but I think they're called the X bands. They're resistant loops, resistance Oops, let's move on to the next thing. I realized I was weirdly out of breath. I'm thinking because I was talking so much. But I want to talk about my thing because I'm promoting a lot of stuff that isn't my thing. This is actually my thing on Amazon. It's the 2020 Gratitude and Accountability 90 Day Journal Planner type thing. There's even a little sticker of me and Nala in the back. That's me and Nala. Mm. She didn't ask to be a part of this. But uh, basically, I've talked about this before in my video. This is actually a prototype that isn't like the original or the one that you would get, but it basically has objectives to guide you. So there's a little guidance here. Um, it has, you know, we wanna list and be accountable to our overall 90 day mind, body, and work goals. But mostly it's just a place for you to organize what important events are coming up for the week. What have you been eating? And what were your workouts for the week? There are journal prompts. They're not that long for morning and evening. Short questions to help you have a better day overall every day for 90 days. So if you're interested in this, it's on Amazon. Um, basically, they manufacture and ship it out to you, um, so it gets to you really quickly. They also do take 60%, so I apologize for the price. It is, I think, $28 or something like that. So I'm um, working on it, but you can get this there. All right. Oh, I also listed, just wanted to say, I also listed, it's 231 pages. I also listed um, some books that I've read uh, in no order of importance that have helped me improve my mindset and personal level of accountability in the back. So it's there. And then if you want to get any of those books listed, they're also on Audible. So 
Okay, back to the video. Okay, for these, I will definitely have to change the camera angle, but they are my TRX bands, but they're knockoffs, or they're not like cheap, they were expensive, I guess. Um, but I actually got these at Mike's Fitness Equipment, and they are sort of like similar to TRX bands, but not quite TRX bands. Um, and I just looked these up there, and personally, I don't really use them for like pistol squats or single leg squats and things like that or for back. I actually just use them here for abs. So I'm going to show you what I use them for, but of course there are many other things that you can use them for. You're going to see how I put them on. Um, how I use them. These, I just loop them and clip them. That's it. So. The way that I use them is I put my feet inside of these loops and then I do three different variations of abs. So put one foot in, put the other foot in, I get into a push up position as so and then I just lift my body up so it's gonna look weird me looking at you but one of the harder ones that I start with is a pike so your feet are together you lift your butt up and keep your body straight so like that and try to keep my core tight I'm trying to talk and do this and I didn't realize how hard it was but basically for the pike just feet together butt up push your butt up and hold your stomach in. Probably not the best angle, but I actually did make a video on this movement from a different angle and I'll link it. Um, the next thing I do is a knee tuck. So lift my body up, tuck my knees to my chest, just like that. And thirdly, I do a mountain climber. So that's just alternating my knees to my chest like this. Of course, when you do abs, whew, you can't see my face. When you do abs, you want to make sure you're exhaling at the crunch so that you get the most out of the movement because breathing matters. I'm not exactly sure what these are called, but what I do is I utilize these for hanging ab raises. Sometimes your grip strength gives out way before your abs do. So that is the purpose of these. Now, I'm not sure if I'm sold on this specific brand. They're not the most comfortable, but that's what I have. So I got them on Amazon. I'll link them below. Call them hanging average straps, but I'm not exactly sure what they're called. So I'll hang up here like that. This is why that pull up bar comes in clutch. I use my squat rack to get up. Get the stool or something. Put my arms through the loops. Then I hang. And then I lift my legs up. Sometimes I try to keep them straight. I'm kind of sorry for this earlier. Or sometimes I tuck, which is an easier place to start. But you kind of want to try to get like, it sounds weird, but you want to get your butt to be facing the wall. Like, so that's how high you want to lift up your legs. So is your butthole facing the wall? I'm going to have to blur out the whole part of that word. But if not, you want to want to try to lift your legs up higher. So we're going to get to one of my favorite pieces of apparatus. We're not even getting into it. Well, we're getting into it when I show you how to use it, I guess. So yeah, get into it. We're gonna use one of my favorite apparatus, uh, which is the slant board. And that helps you with your glute engagement a lot, your core. I like to do good mornings with them, squats with them, um, or with it. So let me just show you the slant board and a few of the ways that I use it. Uh, I also have clients warm up with it using a kettlebell, but I personally like to use it with a full on Olympic bar and squat with it. Front squats, back squats, whatever you, your little hearts desire. This is the least steep slant. And then it goes as steep as this, which I don't use cause I'm not Spider-Man, but you know, some people might be, you know, Michael Jackson style. Reverse Michael Jackson. I don't know. Um, I like to use the middle slant. So 
Anywho, I got this on Amazon and I'm going to show you a demonstration of how I use it right now. Get stuck in here. Sometimes I use resistance bands, sometimes not. And I either do good mornings here or I do squats here. And I just go as deep as I can go. It hits a little different. There are always more things to be done with that, but that's not the focus of the video. Just showing some of my favorite ways to utilize that. This is apparatus right there. Okay, so I did not have time to record all this yesterday. It's a different day, and that's why I'm in a different outfit. And it's not a cute one, but it is comfortable. So, if you're wondering why I got these pants, they actually need to be thrown out. That's what's happening here. Will I throw them out? No, because why? They don't have a hole in the book crack, so that's good enough for me. So, the last thing I'm going to use is this anchor. So, the way that this works is you stack the weights onto it. I'll link it. And I combine this with a dip belt. So let me go get the, I could probably take this off. So the way I take it up is like this one. Unhook. So let me go and have that free angle. Just kidding. Not. So I will show you. My pants make me feel like Rufio from Hook. If you've never seen Hook, don't talk to me. I actually have a client coming in in 15 minutes oh shiz oh shoes news all right so look at check this out so that's the setup a little closer together so i just want you to be able to see what i'm talking about are you talking to me i don't know where that's from hang it again boom baby boom and you can, of course, go wider, but you want to look as deep as you can. And then you get the weight coming from a different angle. So, I'm going to show you guys one more thing in this video. And if you want, there's more stuff, obviously. If you want more stuff for part two of my home gym set, accessories, let me know in the comments. If nobody watches this video, you guys, I'm going home. <clears throat> I'm not making them again. You guys can suck my butt. The last thing is these ankle straps. Now I realize I'm maybe a wee bit immature. The types of jokes that I make, the way that I carry myself, not very professional, right? Well, if I were, would you be bored? Do you want that? Still more professional? I mean, I can love you that way. Maybe I'm offending a ton of people. I don't know. So, it's been, you know, a minute. These are just the things I think. What did I say? We keep it real here. So I'm wearing a totally different outfit and it's a totally different day. Obviously my curls are more flat now, so you can tell. And I'm like on the weird island right now, I'm not sure. It's a different island, more subtle. Okay. They're on. I guess I could have showed you how I put them on. So, just put it through. And the back row, and then we face forward. Let's do it. So this is how I use them. I have a cable, cable machine, and he uses for other things too. This is what I use them for. 
then I just lift up a little bit, keep my legs straight so that it's more glute focused. Um, some people do this. I feel like more of my hamstring when I do that. I would like to keep it more glute focused. So I keep my legs straight and I just tap. And I have a slight bend in this knee. Now, I also will do this, which is a lot harder. Sometimes you have to lower the weight. And it's pretty heavy. And then I switch sides. Talk to me and doing that. It's quite difficult. So, thank you so much for watching. I actually have to get ready for my client to get here, but I wanted to finish this video. It's probably going to take me a while to post it because I have to find all the links to the things that I showed. If there are more things, like I said, let me know in the comments if you want to see what I have and some of the ways that I use it. What the heck is in the corner? My slides and all leash. Great. Look like swallow. Look at everything else in the living room. Okay. Bye.